extras, Adam sulking, that kind of good stuff. Dick, dick. Mwah. Dick, dick. Good night. Dick, dick. Thanks. Yay. Today on X Play, stuff explodes in Spellforce. High sticking in NHL rivalry. And quality anime dialogue in Air Force Delta Strike. How many years must you call me a freak? Blah, blah, blah. It's game time. They used to have a handle on life, then it broke. It's Adam Zessler and Morgan Webb. I, I just have to jiggle mine. Yeah, and it works. Hello and welcome to X Play. On today's show, we have more hockey for the Xbox. An RTS RPG for people who like acronyms. And the best and only karaoke game for a console. Yes. Ever. Not really hard to be the best, I guess. Probably the only one. Right. Like me. And we find out about Counter-Strike culture. Plus, one of today's titles scores a perfect five out of five. Stop making fun of my delivery. <laughs> let's, things off, let's start things off with our review of Air Force Delta Strike. <laughs> it's not very often that you come across a flight game with multiple personality disorder. But today we introduce you to the symbol of flight games. Air Force Delta Strike for the PlayStation 2. At first, things seem as they should be. Aircraft carrier? Check. High-tech, realistic fighter jets? Check. Goofy anime characters? Oh, uh huh, what? How can you mix this with this? How about we go out for dinner? Delta Strike's multiple personalities would be so bad if one of them weren't so annoying. One minute, you're taking out bogeys. And the next, you're suffering through awful dialogue like Jamie, how many years do you call me free? Right? world is under siege and you must save it routine. Shockwave to follow. objective of survival. You can even take a modified version of your fighter into outer space. Craft. You also have wingmen who are supposed to help you. They won't shoot their weapons much, but they have no problem shooting off the mouth. What the crap's that been doing? Gameplay is easy to pick up. Though the ships look like they're dangling on a string. Worst of all, when you get shot down, you don't get to see your fighter explode. What is that? If I'm gonna die, I want to go down in a blaze of glory. Air Force Delta Strike got its anime in my flight game. But that doesn't keep it from being an accessible, if somewhat dull, flight combat game. It flies the semi-friendly skies to a schizophrenic three out of five. There's just nothing. You know, but you have an Xbox.
Working on a series of in-house sports titles made especially for the Xbox and the XSN Sports Network. Now, sometimes the results are good, like Top Spin. Yes, and sometimes they are very, very bad, like NBA Inside Drive. Which one will NHL rivals be? Hmm, find out in this review. NHL Rivals scores an exclusive Xbox hockey title, but was it worth the wait? And it's time for tonight's opening face-off. The first body check the game delivers is the hallowed halls of the Knights with the busted schnozzes. Arenas like New York's Madison Square Garden brim with rich detail and crazed, fight-hungry fans. Cutscenes bring you onto the ice, visually enhancing the experience. But as we know, cutscenes don't win hockey games. Little digital thugs do. Oh, that punch had to hurt. Unfortunately, controls are sadly uninspired, and the subtlety so necessary to the finesse of the game is wide of the net. Deeks, those quick little stick moves players employ to fake out opponents, seem less than responsive to control, and at times are ineffectual. Checks, blocks, and passes lack precision and actually make gameplay awkward. Passes it to Simon. It's in. He scores. The game seems to take a slap shot right between an arcade-style experience and a direct simulation of the sport. Instead of emulating hockey as an over-the-top stick-in-your-gut wild ride, we get something more like an ice sculpture of a Zamboni slowly melting at a hockey heroes of yesteryear banquet. Yes. Flow is a little fatigued, but there are some unique elements added to the control scheme. The ability to tie opposing players up on the board is a new development to hockey gaming. The game will also allow you to ramp up the intensity during the game. The environments are nicely rendered, but it kind of stops there. Some players bear a slight resemblance to their real-life counterparts, but others are simply carved out of a predictable pile of polygons. Is it me or does this guy get traded a lot? The complexion of the ice is perfect, but much of the action it reflects is blocky and clumsy. Goal replays, saves, and penalties are barely representative of what they're meant to depict. With so many other positive graphic details, this left us scratching the stitches over our eye. I mean, look at that. Is that a penalty? He certainly earned the penalty. Hey, what would Aki be without the inevitable punch out? The ability to team manage, to add and drop players, and to build your own ice dude do little to allay a sneaking sense that this game doesn't quite live up to the expectations of an Xbox exclusive title. We'll sit this season out and wait for what the 2005 rivalry has in store. For now, the squids are on the ice. We give it a two out of five. Nice. It's in. He scores. Asha just You know, there's just something magic about watching a guy get punched in the face while Lava Wem is playing. Yeah, I wish Lava Wem were playing right now. Oh, no, no, honey. Up next, this guy reminds me of my father. The hooter hand here is a bloody girl. In Spellforce. If you want to make tons of money on the internet, then you need a powerful website. Get your very own free website now that features over 50 ebooks ready to sell like hotcakes. Go to freebookwebsite.com now and instantly start selling the hottest ebooks like No Money Down Real Estate, Making Money on eBay, Golf, Internet Wealth, and many more. Over 200 million people online and $47 billion spent last year alone. Cash in on the high profit electronic book explosion right now. Go to freebookwebsite.com. Com and sign up free in total privacy. Guaranteed. No monthly cost ever. Get your free website instantly. Right now. No waiting. It's all 100% totally automatic. There's no inventory to buy. No selling. No order taking. No customer service. No shipping. And no hidden costs. Go to freebookwebsite.com. We call it a cash machine on autopilot. But hurry before it's too late. I moved to Earthlink because I only want the internet that's good for my kids. Because I like being the guy you can always reach. Because an Earthlink address makes a good impression. I moved to Earthlink high speed because my life moves fast. 
Because access should come with choices. Different people, different passions, different reasons for moving to Earthlink. Whether you choose dial-up, high-speed, or wireless, make the Internet your Internet. Call 1-800-827-0142. We're currently offering six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. I moved to Earthlink because they hate Internet pollution as much as I do. I moved because they block pop-ups. And I'll take all the help I can get. Because Spam Blocker keeps my inbox neat and clean. Speed, security, control. Your reasons are your own. Call, go online, or visit these retailers and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Move to Earthlink. It revolves around you. The stage is set. The players are ready. And weeknights at 11, the battle begins. Don't just watch X play and unscrewed. Play along live with Tech TV's Hyperactive. To play, register at techtv.com slash hyperactive. Then watch X play and unscrewed weeknights beginning at 11. Log on and play. Answer the questions, chat with other players, win cool prizes, and look for your name on the leaderboard live on TV. Tech TV Hyperactive, coming soon to Tech TV. Four out of five doctors recommend Adam Zessler and Morgan Webb. You should talk to the fifth. Welcome back to X-Play. And we have a new game that has fantasy fans so excited they're forgetting to put their tunics on under their chain mail. And that can terrify children at the Renaissance Fair. Yeah. Plus, it chafes. Anyway, the game is a little bit of a hybrid. It's part real-time strategy, part role-playing game. And if that leaves you scratching your horned helmet in confusion, don't worry. Our preview of Spell Force will explain it all. Is it a role-playing game? <laughs> or is it real-time strategy? RPG? RTS? Well, Spell Force is kind of both. It has all the classic RPG elements. Elves, orcs, you know, the usual. Your task is to reunite the world after a magical cataclysm. Okay, so it's pretty much fantasy on the straight and narrow. You pick your character, their attributes, and their specialization. This is Morgan. She specializes in elemental magic. Yeah, she's from my blonde period. Whom do we have here, huh? Then you wander around the lands talking to drunks. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have some liquor in you. Uh, don't you think you've had enough? The hoot around here is no bloody good. I'm going on side quests. You might be able to do me a favor. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sure. Not I'm not doing anything else except, oh, I don't know, saving the world. Ew, you're wearing my shirt. And what RPG would be complete without obsessively leveling up? <laughs> You wonder where the RTS part comes in? Okay, so you're a rune warrior, so when you find certain monuments, you can create workers out of your rune stone. That will build little bases, so you can create little armies to go fight the bad guys. Then, when you go through a portal to the next area, you can't take all your created kids with you, so you'll have to start your cities again. Okay, so the plot feels a little contrived when you think about it, but so is Scooby-Doo, and that was still fun. <laughs> So, uh, uh, uh. The real-time strategy interface is refreshingly simple. It's easy to find and assign idle workers to jobs, and you can hire and fire them with just a click. You can also create heroes from the hero monuments, stronger warriors to fight on your side. Okay, loincloth man, here's some clothes. Alright, I'll go to the merchant and get you a sword, but only because you're cute. If you weren't cute, just pants. You can get remarkable detail from all the different views, from RPG-style third-person to RTS-style bird's-eye. And we never experience slowdown, even when close up on large battle scenes. The final version of Spell Force even boasts a promising multiplayer component. We look forward to this hybrid in winter 2004. This game has like a really beautiful opening cutscene. It's, you know, I haven't seen one like that in a long time. And the gameplay is also good, but it helps if you're a fan of both real-time strategy and role-playing games. Now, it's also not quite as resource-intensive, uh, intensive, excuse me, as a lot of other RTS games out there. Although Morgan did have to go buy pants for some of her characters, which I don't know seems like micromanaging to me. The man needed some pants, and contrary to popular belief, people fight better when they're wearing pants. That's probably why I got. Beat up so much in, in high school. Hell. 
Coming up, stand by your man as we examine Counter-Strike culture. Toyota is the best-selling car brand in America. Get out. Camry, Corolla, sports cars, sedans. Don't forget the Matrix. Hybrids. I want a Camry. And Toyota makes nine different cars. Choice is good. And six of them start at under $20,000. Nah. What's another one? Solara. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toyota has a great car at a great price, just for you. We're extending our amazing five free CDs giveaway. Even we couldn't believe how popular our Video Professor Software Savers offer would be. The phones have been ringing off the hook, stock has been flying off the shelves, but we want everyone to get a free pack of software. So we're extending this amazing offer, giving you time to call in right now and get a great pack of software for the whole family free. These self-help and informational CDs contain a wealth of knowledge that no home should be without. Take a look at what you get free from household names you know and trust, like Home Depot, Rand McNally, American Medical Association, and more. From wallpapering and plumbing to building cabinets, let the Home Depot experts show you how to do all your home improvements. Then create your own home on your PC. Repaint, add a new addition, and see it all in a 3D walkthrough. Create customized, printable travel maps of anywhere in North America. Plan trips ahead of time, add points of interest, restaurant stops, and more. You'll never get lost again. Research almost anything in seconds. History, maps, nature, science, geography, trivia, and more. And for medical help for your family, turn to the Family Medical Guide, covering everything from minor scratches and burns to emergency assistance with CPR, shock, bleeding, and heart attacks. It's essential for any home. That's over $100 in free software that turns all this into to this. All you pay is $6.95 for shipping and processing. It really is free. Video Professor gives you all this free because we know once you see how these CDs improve your life, you'll come back to us for more great software. You have no contracts to sign and no commitments. Plus, as an added bonus, if you call right now, we'll also throw in an extra free gift. This free typing tutorial uses fun games and tests to improve your typing skills. This special extended offer can't last forever, so make sure you don't miss out. It's free. It's risk-free. Our friendly operators are standing by, so call right now to get your free software pack. To get your free software pack and free bonus CD, you must call now. Call 1-800-478-5028. Oh, man! I just stepped in Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's most better than poop. <laughs> Welcome back to X-Play. In 1999, a team of amateur game designers known as the CS Team, they, they made this little mod of yeah. Half-Life. Yeah, that mod was the first-person shooter Counter-Strike, and it remains the most popular online shooter, period. Now we're talking about something that was made in the garage, and has since spawned a huge subculture of gamers, tournaments, and people who actually play it to win money and some great prizes. <laughs> and now there's an independent documentary about Counter-Strike culture called Gamers. And with us today is the director of Gamers, a documentary, Kiyosh Monsef. Welcome to Explain. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Now, can you tell us why people are so obsessed with Counter-Strike still? <laughs> well, I think that uh, the success of Half-Life was a big factor, and I think that the fact that it was one of the first uh, team-based first-person shooters uh, to really um, focus on strategy and stuff like right. that. Right. It, it really uses the team. Now, does that attract a different type of gamer? Did you notice anything with the people you interviewed? You know, what, what, what is the Counter-Strike player, would you say? Well, um, I think that... Um, you have to be very social, you have to be very communicative. I mean, I, I certainly noticed that a lot of the people I spoke with were uh, very well spoken, and I think that that's really essential. You need to be able to communicate with your fellow players in order to have a good team. You need to be a good guy. Yeah, but I, I realized when I was watching your documentary, not everyone who plays Counter-Strike is nice. For example, there's the, the cheater who seems to enjoy just kind of ticking people off. Yeah, no, I mean, there's definitely that element in the game, and unfortunately, because of the way the game came out, um, uh, there's been a lot of cheats developed over the years, and um, you know they they try to you know Valve and everybody tries to keep up with them, but uh, new cheats keep coming out and people yeah. keep using them. Well, let's yeah. take a look at our cheater yes. friend. Cheater. Okay. <laughs> Somebody out there has to be the one looking for the bugs, looking for the exploits, looking for new ways to take advantage of the game. You know, whether it's Counter Strike or EverQuest. You know, there's always going to be someone like me within the game, and. Um, it, it, it only makes a better game, really, in the end, whether you like what I'm doing. 
Oh yes, it's a it's a tough job, but someone's yeah. got to do I, I, it. I love the way that he he, he turns into like he's he's, he's bettering society. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guy. Now, um, I've I've noticed this. I'm one of the big cheats is people who can look through walls. And I see people even on the same team as a cheater really turn against them. Um, how how are cheaters usually re regarded by Counter Strike players? Oh, nobody likes them. Nobody likes them. But it, again, it's like one of those things. It's almost inevitable if you go on a public server, you're gonna. Uh, odds are you're going to encounter somebody who's running a cheat, and you'll know immediately who it is, and um, there's just nothing you can do about it. It's just there. Do you well, think some people it. are obsessed with Counter-Strike, perhaps, a little bit? I think there are certainly extreme examples. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, but I think that the majority of people are, you know, they've managed to balance their time very well and, um, and you know, played moderation. But, 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 but some of them also, you know, it affects their family life. I, th yeah. I, th I think we have a clip from your film that, that shows marriage and Counter-Strike. Mm -hmm. First, when we were married, he was on the computer quite often, and being the setup, he was sitting on the computer and the TV was over here, so I'd be just pretty much sleeping on the couch. It's a lot different now. I think he's grown, like, realized the sacrifices that I've had to make, maybe, and uh, kind of rearranged and, you know, realized that he does have a family, and he's definitely balanced it out a lot better now. Oh, my. She's a very patient woman. I understand, you know, you got to play games, but... Right, right, right. It's a lot like, it's a lot like EverQuest, eight too. eight hours a day, you know? Now, are they still together? Yes. That's good. That's good. So, you know, you want to say, oh, after the movie, they, 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 they went and them. they broke up. No, still right. happy together. Yeah. They, I guess they kind of knew what they were getting into, though. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. So, what do you think has been the one thing that you learned about Counter-Strike that you didn't know before you made the film? What, is, what, is, what has been your lasting lesson? Um, I think that, that what I've learned most of all is uh, that this is really an amazing and vibrant community and um, that there's you know, there's really a lot of positive um, things that have come out of it. And I, I mean, I knew that, but I didn't really realize the scope of it. I mean, there's like these, you know, amazing friendships that have been formed and strengthened by the game. Um, you know, I interviewed a father and, and son, um, you know, 16-year-old son and his father, who've really bonded over this game. Which, and, and of course, that, that, it's good to learn that because mm -hmm. most people who haven't played the game just see it as, as, as a exactly. violent thing. Just see the violence. Well, I'm, I'm glad yeah. you're able to show that in your documentary, and congratulations once again on Thank making Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Thanks very much for uh, coming out with us, and uh, you can find more information about Counter-Strike or Gamers, a documentary. You can go do that by visiting our website, techtv.com slash xplay. This, right is, this is the movie right there. This is it. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding it in my hands. We'll be back. Look at me. <laughs> Coming up. If karaoke revolution is supposed to be fun, then why are my ears Beep bleeding? Me, yaw, 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 yaw. Set, the 260 horsepower SRX V6 Performance Utility. Catalyst. Breakthrough. Three years from now, I can see myself in a house of my own and still learning the trade. Now, I'm an EOA technician. Basically, I deal with the satellite linking between locomotives. I got my associate's and bachelor's degree from ITT Tech. At ITT Tech, they took me through everything from basic components, electronics, all the way through software programming very quickly. I really enjoyed school. ITT Tech definitely helped me increase my potential. I like to snowboard a lot, go to the beach, ride horses, just have fun. I remember I did roof construction. It burned me up. I thought, I better get in school. The next thing I knew, I was there. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-942-0077 or visit us on the web. Take advantage of our new programs that include on-campus and flexible online courses to better fit your busy lifestyle. Call 1-800-942-0077 today. I've got to tell you, a few weeks ago, I saw the White's metal detector ad on TV. In no time at all, my local dealer had me out treasure hunting. I was finding the good stuff my first day. And the best part? You can see what's in the ground before you dig it up. Your treasure hunting adventure can start right now. Call for your free catalog. My wife said I needed a healthy hobby. She's proud of the weight I've lost and really proud of this. Call now. 
Tech TV Saturday nights. Find out how misfits became mainstream on Nerd Nation at 7. I think I'm having heat poisoning. I'm losing a lot of salt. At 8, it's the military's latest advances on future fighting machines. We're just an unstoppable force. Then find out the truth about excessive behavior on body hits. Followed by a real eye-opener wired for sex. A lot of sex workers migrated to the internet because it's easier. You'll see it all Saturday starting at 7 Eastern on Tech TV. One more? You got it at TechTV.com. Amazing things, cool things, and some things you didn't expect. TechTV.com. Get it? Got it. Bookmark it. And now for something completely different. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Yeah, that's a big change. Welcome back. Time and time again, we've learned one important lesson here at X-Play. No one, that is, no one on our staff should sing. We're not very good. So when Konami made a karaoke for the Xbox, we knew we were in trouble. I am so very sorry about this, but here's our review of Karaoke Revolution. Me, me, me. <laughs> we here at X-Play love a good challenge. Figaro! Thanks. Oh. We thought it best to warm up our vocal cords to try out this game, Karaoke Revolution, for the PS2. Uh. With a headset and some air in your lungs. Oh, Adam. <laughs> you can face off against your friends and add some style while you're at it. On the floor, in the round. It sounds scary at first, but don't worry, after a while, I'm addicted to you. You get the hang of it. The game supports up to eight players, and there's over 35 songs with varying difficulty. Please. Here's what you do follow the path. See, the words are scrolling on the screen, and you have to hit the right note at the right time. On screen, you'll see the character of your choice. Get a gold or platinum record, and you'll unlock new characters and clothes. Or, more importantly, new song. So just keep up with the song. I know it can be a little hard. I am the hurricane, listen to yourself, turn. Morgan likes RPGs. And don't cheat. Next play is great. People, the song has words. You can trust me not to think. As an added incentive, the crowd in the game roars and claps along with you when you do really well. And it's hard not to notice them, or the lack of them, when you start to sing poorly. Those who already sing well will appreciate the challenge and variety of songs. Billy Jean is not my lover. Girl, you really got me now. You got me so I can't see bad Waiting for tonight. Oh. Take these broken wings. Do you believe in life after love? Hey, jealousy. Are you happy now? If these songs aren't enough for you, Konami does plan to release song expansion discs in the near future. Do you ever know that shy wannabes can practice in privacy without ever having to worry about being embarrassed? Unless they are on national television. I would like to be. Oh, <laughs> if you don't want to play the game, just kick back for some standard karaoke singing without the bar atmosphere or pressure. <laughs> it's worth checking out, even for those of you who would never be caught dead singing at a karaoke bar. It's a completely different kind of game experience, and trust me when I say, it's tons of fun. We give the karaoke revolution experience stellar five out of five. Well, it is a great game, and we soiled it with our vocal stylings. Speak for yourself, Mr. Mister. I'm the one who had to sing a Michael Jackson song. You know. Somehow, even off-key, it's less frightening when you sing it. Uh, in, in retrospect, though, the, the line, the kid is not my son, it's kind of ominous. Oh. Okay, now on a viewer mail, today's email is all about Adam. It is? Really? Oh, Ooh. yes. It's today's viewer mail. It's from Jessie G. She writes, Dear Adam, you are so adorable <gasps> and funny, <gasps> so cute, <gasps> and I loved it when you dressed up as Robin. That <gasps> was so hot. What is your favorite old game system and your favorite game for it? P.S. Will you have my baby? 
Oh, well, if she gives me her baby, what am I supposed to do with it? I, I, I don't know. All right, my favorite game system, it's probably a toss-up. It's probably Genesis and the Super Nintendo system because they had so many platformers. And I, any night, I could just be running and, and jumping and doing stuff like that, except for the really tough ones, like Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which caused me it, it, the vein. Yeah. That, 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 that's how I got the vein was from actually playing that game. Okay. But that, that was are definitely gonna, my system. Are you going to call her? We'll call her what? They'll call you. Go to our website, techtv.com slash explain. You can write us love messages Thank of your own. Thank you. Good night. Information on joining the robot. Right, he was a great guy.